Hey there, my name is Beck Power and I run Power Creative Media. We help digital entrepreneurs to create social media content. Uh, actually, what we do is repurpose it by turning one video into like 15 or 30 or 60 or 100 pieces of content, whatever you want, really. It's pretty amazing. But today I'm here to talk about Rebump, which is one of the tools that we use to follow up with our clients. Now, one of the things I teach is social content systems. So helping you create a better system uh, and strategy for your social media. So it's not like kind of flying by the seat of your pants all the time. And one thing I use uh, pretty often in my business is Rebump. What Rebump does is it helps you follow up with clients that you've emailed because a lot of times what people really fail to do, I think in a really big way is take advantage of the leads they are getting from social media, right? They're like, oh, it's not really doing anything. I don't get any results. Well, are people commenting on your posts? Yes but they're not writing to you, you know, to help them. Well, people aren't just going to throw money at you. So you've got to chase people up and rebump is one of the things that I use to help me chase people a little bit, I follow up with them. You know, I do lots of things. Use cases are things like podcast outreach to either have people on my podcast or to be on people's podcasts, right? You can't just really wait and hope that people invite you to be on their podcast. You got to do outreach and have good systems for that too. So if people ask you for more information, and you've got some information to send them, but then they don't get back to you, you're gonna to need to follow up by email. And sometimes we rely on autoresponders to do that when I don't think that's necessarily the best plan because it doesn't, because, you know, we all get millions of emails. And so even if you're emailing somebody all the time with an autoresponder, it doesn't really, it's not really personalized and, and it's not really super targeted. So if you do have people that specifically have said that they're interested and then you just send them a bunch of autoresponders, it's a lot better to send them a proper email with information and you can get replies using Rebump. So what I'm going to do right now is show you how Rebump works and a little bit more about why you would want to use it and how it can help you in your business. So let's see. So let's move this away. Work this over here. All right. So we're here inside of Rebump and Rebump works with Gmail. It works with any Gmail account that you've got. And it's super simple to use with Gmail. I'm just going to show you the back end of Rebump right now. When you log in, you'll see these emails here. I'll show you in a minute and bumps and really they work with bumps. So it's like you've sent somebody an email with Gmail and now it's going to keep following up for you. And if you have their basic account, I think you get four bumps. And if you have their pro account, you get 10 bumps and that's really to stop any harassment that might happen as a result of using rebump. So they just give you up to four and up to 10 options to rebump things. But the important thing to note about rebump is that once somebody replies you, it will stop. So if you've scheduled 10 bumps and they reply to you after bump number four, they won't see any of the other ones because they just won't go out to them, which is pretty cool. It's different than autoresponders. Whereas if somebody replies, they still get the other emails that um, they were going to get. So this is really for like, I would do it not for bulk emailing. I would do it for one, one on one. You know, if someone's requested something and they give you their email address and you need to send them something specific, or if you want to do outreach, this is a really great way to do outreach using your own Gmail account. So how it works is really simple. You set up these bumps and I've got, this is just a default account, but I set up a podcast outreach a bump sequence here and you can create new bump sequences. I don't know how many you can have, but you can have a lot. You can have as many as I've tried to do. So basically I've set up this new one called podcast outreach and don't worry about this yet. I'm going to show you how to do it in Gmail so you don't need to worry about any weird emails. And we've got bump number one two, three, and four. These are, this is actually the default sequence that I renamed. I created a new one and just made a default one. So you ideally, you send the email and Gmail first, and then these bump the person. So you can change the number of days. So we're going to edit it here. Uh, you can change how many days after the original email was sent. This goes, and you've got all these it's a normal content editor. Sometimes I like to get a bit uh, weird with this and I will add like a picture of a cat dressed as Harry Potter or something like that. And I'll say, hey, noticed you haven't got back to me yet. Just wondering if you're still interested in being, if, if you would be interested in being on my podcast or just wondering if you're still interested in having your content repurposed. If not, didn't want to waste your time. So here's a picture of a cat dressed as Harry Potter. I hope you enjoy it. 
catch you later. And it's just kind of like some silly email, sometimes just because it's going on and on, sometimes I get a bit bored when I make these things and I just go, how weird can I make it? And that you, maybe your niche or industry is not Harry Potter inclined, but the, the thing is to remember is just like, firstly, it will stop whenever they reply. So it's totally fine. All they need to do is say no or whatever. And secondly, you know, you do want to follow up as politely as you can and fairly regularly. So I wouldn't do these, like, it depends on your industry. You can, you can have them go every day or you could have them go once a week or whatever you want, but I would just make sure that you are politely reminding them of the request that you made in the initial, initial thing. So sometimes I'll just write the word like, like bumping this. I just think I, I think I just smiled when I did that <laughs> because I was like bumping this. I'm trying to be friendly. Sometimes I smile when I write stuff that where I'm trying to be friendly. So I would just say like, maybe that's your whole email. You know, it doesn't have to be a whole thing. It's just, you already wrote the initial request. So now you're just reminding them of what it was. And so these ones are just defaults and that's, I've used the defaults. They're mildly effective actually, but like. I would make it a little bit more personalized, put some of your energy into it. So these are the ones now with it. I think I said this before with their $5 plan, $5 a month plan, you get like four bumps and you can create tons of different bump sequences. So for example, let's play this out. So if I had just given us, uh, asked somebody to be on my podcast or said, Hey, um, wondering if you'd be on my podcast, is that a conversation you're open to? I didn't want to send, maybe I didn't want to send all the information. Um, about everything yet, but I said like, here's my podcast. Here's what it's about. Here's the listeners. Here's something. And are you interested in the conversation of being on it? And they wrote back and said, Hey, I am interested, but I would like to learn more right now. I can either, I can either reply to them to that because that's now stopped this podcast outreach thing, right? It's, it stopped it. So I could either reply to them and say, Hey, yeah, here's more information. Are you, you know, what do you think? Can we get it scheduled? But then I would have to follow up again. So I could make a new bump sequence, which was like, would be like podcast info follow up or something like that. So you could chat, you could make multiple bump sequences in situations that you find yourself in regularly where you forget to follow up with people. And so that's one of the beauties of, of rebump. And so we've got all these different bumps. We've got all these different sequences. Now we're going to look at emails. Now, obviously there's a demo account. So actually one thing I will go back and say about the bumps is like salespeople and, and most people actually, if you reply, one thing I love about rebump is if you reply and follow up with people, you know, four, five, eight, ten 10 times, you are just miles ahead of your competition miles. Most people don't, first of all, most people make a decision that they want to email somebody and then they don't do it. That's most people. Secondly, the people who do follow up and do send the email usually don't follow up. Right. And then the people that do follow up, follow up one time. It's very unusual for people to follow up more than once, which is crazy to me. I follow up like a lot, 10 times almost every time, but it's crazy to me how much business you lose just because you don't follow up because people are busy. And for whatever reason, right? We might tell ourselves that they probably don't want to do it. Oh, this was a terrible idea. I don't know why I even bothered to do this. Oh, no one's getting back to me. This isn't working. And then you get, you know, off and distracted and, and you probably need a bump, but no one is going to, you know, just write to you out of the blue. Well, sometimes it happens that someone will write to you out of the blue to either like have you on their podcast or be on their podcast. But most times for most digital entrepreneurs, we've got to ask. And so I don't leave that to chance. You know what I mean? I'm not, people ask me to be on their podcast, but that doesn't mean that I'm just going to only be on those ones. I'm still going to do outreach. I'm still going to try to be on the ones that I like. I'm still going to try to have the guests that I want. And so you don't get anywhere by hanging around waiting. You got to go out and take what you want, which is kind of like my Viking esque philosophy. So let's go to emails and just really quickly, you would select the sequence if you had one that you want to see specifically, and then you would be able to see like, okay, how many messages have been sent, blah, 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 blah. How many are actively active now and sending right now, you know, either the person hasn't answered yet or, you know, the, but the, uh, the bump sequence is still going. 
how many are complete but didn't didn't really work and how many you can see here how many messages were rescued and that just means like they didn't answer for the first one but they did answer for you know the second to tenth one so oftentimes i have people answering on like the eighth email which is slightly worrying actually it's like really but they did it so you know i get to have the conversation i get to keep that conversation going and not have to keep it in my brain and remember who I was supposed to follow up with or put these things in my calendar. Cause that's all the, all the follow-up emails I used to have in my calendar was just like, no, this is way easier. So obviously you can do a ton of searches and things like that, but a really simple service. Now, what we're going to do is go over here to Gmail and we're going to go, you know, we write our, this is, let's say we've set up rebump and it's set up, right? You've got your bump set up. You've got, you've named everything. Everything's ready to roll. Then you would come over to Gmail and you would just do your normal outreach email. Now I'm going to give you a little, I wonder if I can do it in here. This might not be the right account. Let's say, yeah. So now we've got a couple of, this is kind of a bonus to this video. So what we can do is set a, write an email, write a subject, add a recipient, etc. And then what we would do if we wanted to use rebump is we would just click this button here, which will appear once you install rebump into your Gmail. See it's up here. It's a one click thing. It's a Google or Chrome. So what we're going to do is you can either, you can choose whichever sequence you wanted to use. Remember we've got, we've got different ones and you would just click this button and it would automatically BCC the right thing for you. And because it's set up with my account specifically, it doesn't need to be anything crazy. You can have it. So you could use a different email that's specific to you. And, and I just, I just do it this way. So I just click this button. And now every time I send out an email and I've clicked this button, it follows up with the response or the bump sequence that I want to use for this particular email. Super cool. Now I will give you a little tip. If you haven't used canned response or not canned responses, canned templates, I guess, or just templates, you can set them up. So what you would do is you'd write your first email and you would also write the subject. And now whenever you go into, and actually you would go in here and you would go save draft as a template, you could either redo it over the test, which I'm going to do here, or you would save it as a new template. Yep. I'll save it. Now, when we go here, we can say, okay, great. I've started this new email We're starting again, dun, 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 and we can go, okay, cool. I'm just going to use this. So it makes it even faster. Every time you may need to enable this inside of your advanced section of your Gmail, but every time you uh, write an email, just ask yourself, is this the same email that I'm always writing? And then you would be able to have the opportunity to write the email that you would normally write and then save it as a template. And now not only have you got, you know, sequences going out for you once something's sent, but you can just send it in five seconds using a template and maybe amending a couple of things, but it's certainly easier than pasting it from somewhere else or, or writing it over and over again every time. So uh, a couple of really great tips for Gmail here. If you have any questions about um, what I've talked about on this video, or if you have any thoughts, or if you have any really cool ways that you use Gmail or you follow up with people, I'd love to hear them comment wherever you are seeing this video. And I hope that if you have any more questions about social, social content in general, you know, posting daily across your channels, if you're looking for someone to help you to repurpose your content and turn it into a lot of pieces of micro content, you'll reach out to my agency, Power Creative Media, and I'll see you in the next video.